ratios. Convert between forms of ratios. If a scale suggests that a plan is 1 to 100, it means that 1 cm on that plan represents 100 cm in real life. Remember that 100 cm is equal to 1 meter. We will get to this when we do measurement. So 2 cm on the plan is equal to 200 centimeters or 2 meters in real life. So how did we do that calculation? Remember that the ratio is 1 to 100. 1 to 100. So now on the plan, we had 2 centimeters. How did we get from 1 to 2? We simply multiplied by 2. Now if we multiply 100 by 2, we get 200. 100 times 2 is 200. And that is how we got that 2 centimeters on the plan is equal to 200 centimeters in real life. Now this is a question. How much will 2.5 to 5.2 centimeters on the plan be in real life? Hey, so remember the 2.5 centimeters on the plan is represented by the 1 in the ratio. So to go from 1 to 5,2, we multiply by 5,2. And therefore, we have to do the same to the 100. So 5,2 times 100 is equal to 520 centimeters. And that, if we divide the 5,2 centimeters by 100, we get to 5,2 meters. So 520 centimeters is equal to 5,2 meters in real life. A real life example. This was taken from a label of a cool drink bottle. This is the ratio in which cool drink must be diluted. Let's quickly read it. Dilute to taste or dilute 1 Two, three, to make four liters. It means that you will must use one part cool drink mixture, which will be referred to as cordial, for each three parts water. So one liter of cordial plus three liters of water will give me four liters of cool drink, and that is where this four liters comes from. Okay, so now this is an example. We're using the same label. So it says diluted taste 1 to 3 to make 4 liters. Now in this container, we have 200 milliliters of cordial there. How much water will, will we use to make, will we need to make this cool drink? Right. So we have the 1 to convert it to 200 will go 1 times 200 so that's the, where the 200 milliliters comes from so we'd have to do the same to the 3 so 3 times 200 gives us 600 milliliters so we will need to use 600 milliliters of water in total we will then have the 200 milliliters of cordial and we add the 600 milliliters of water. 200 plus 600 is equal to 800 milliliters of cool drink. So when we have 200 milliliters of cordial, we can make 800 milliliters of cordial. Right, again with the same label. You need to make two liters of this specific cool drink. So how much cordial and water will you use? Two liters is equal to 2,000 milliliters. Our ratio is one to three, which is four parts. So when we're considering the cool drink in total, we will have to look at this 4. So 
what this 4 is represented by the red color now. So 4 is 2,000. And how do we get from 4 to 2,000? Well, 4 times 500 is equal to 2,000. So the cordial is the one part, and water will be the three parts. So cordial is blue, water is green. Cordial is 1 times 500 is 500 milliliters. So it means that we have to use 500 milliliters of cordial. The water, we will have to take the 500 and multiply it by 3 to get, and 3 times 500 is 1,500 milliliters. So we will, we will have to use 500 milliliters of cordial and 1,500 milliliters of, uh, liters of water to get 2,000 milliliters of cool drink. So here it is, 500 milliliters of cordial and 1,500 milliliters of co uh, cordial will give us 2,000 milliliters of cool drink. There is, however, another method for the previous example. Okay, we, uh, we already established that 1 plus 3 is 4. So when we divide the 2,000 milliliters in the ratio 1 to 3, we'll have to divide the 2,000 milliliters in four equal parts. So 2,000 in four equal parts is 500. Each part represents, is represented by 500 milliliters. So if we take the first part of the ratio and we multiply it by that 500, we get 500 milliliters. If we take the second part of the ratio and we multiply it, by that 500, we get 1,500 milliliters. So, 2,000 divided in the ratio 1 to 3 is 500 to 1,500. So, when we're talking about the cool drink in milliliters, we'll have to use 500 milliliters of cordial and we mix it with 1,500 milliliters of water. Now, different ways of writing the ratio 1 to 3 is either the fraction 1 over 3 or the ratio 2 to 6. Now, how do we get to the ratio 2 to 6? To go from 1 to 2, I times by 2. What I do to the left-hand side of the ratio, I have to do to the right-hand side of the ratio. 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2. Is 6. The same with the second example. To go from 3 to 9, I times by 3. What I do to the right hand side of the ratio, I have to do to the left hand side of the ratio. So 3 times 3 is 9, 1 times 3 is 3. So 1 to 3 is equivalent to 3 times 9. The same with 4 to 12. 1 times 4 is is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. And we can even use the previous example of the 2, two liters of cool drink to uh, make, get an equivalent form of 1 to 3. 1 times 500 is 500, 3 times 500 is 1,500. So uh, 1 over 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9, 4 to 12 and 500 to 1,500 are all equivalent forms of the ratio 1 to 3. Writing ratios in unit forms. Okay, so to go from 4 to 1, we divide by 4. So we do the same to the 5. To go from 5 to the next part of the ratio, we'll go 5 divided by 4, and that is 1,25. Right, so let's quickly go over this again. Unit forms means that the ratio starts with a 1. 
This form is easier to use because when we want to change the, um, the ratio, we can simply just go 1 times the other part of the unit. Um, so unit form is a little bit more accessible. So to write 5 to 4 in unit form, we first have to divide the 4 by 4 to get to 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. What we do to the left, we have to do to the right. So 5 divided by 4 is 1,25. So the ratio 4 to 5 in unit form is 1 to 1,25.